Medications can be beneficial, but they also carry significant risks, particularly for the kidneys as individuals age. With age, kidney efficiency naturally declines, making it essential to avoid overloading them with numerous chemicals and medications. As health issues increase with age, so does the number of medications, some of which can be harmful to the kidneys. This condition is known as nephrotoxicity, which impairs the kidney's ability to filter blood and can lead to serious health problems. Kidney damage from medications can vary from mild to severe, with the risk increasing with age or existing kidney problems. Medication-related kidney damage can be categorized into two types, dose-dependent and idiosyncratic. Dose-dependent toxicity implies that higher drug doses lead to more significant damage, while idiosyncratic toxicity is unpredictable and varies between individuals. Avoiding these medications can sometimes be the safest option. Drug-induced nephrotoxicity can result from various issues, including muscle breakdown, rhabdomyolysis, kidney tissue death, renal infarction, acid buildup, renal tubular acidosis, and others. These conditions can lead to reduced kidney function, nephrotic syndrome, or electrolyte imbalances. This essay discusses how common medications can affect kidney health and offers tips for safely managing these drugs. Understanding these risks is crucial for making informed healthcare decisions. The following sections explore specific medications that can harm kidney health. Antibiotics. Antibiotics, while effective in treating infections, can pose risks to kidney health. Common antibiotics, such as ciprofloxacin, cipro, amoxicillin, augmentin, and others, are used to treat bacterial infections like strep throat, pneumonia, and urinary tract infections. However, antibiotics are ineffective against viral infections like colds and flu, and their improper use can cause side effects, including diarrhea and liver and kidney problems. Even when used correctly, some antibiotics, such as polymyxins and aminoglycosides, can harm the kidneys by damaging cell membranes or accumulating in kidney cells, leading to cell death and tubule damage. Proper use of antibiotics is essential, as nearly one-third of antibiotics prescribed in the U.S. are inappropriate for the conditions being treated. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs. NSAIDs, including ibuprofen, aspirin, and naproxen, are commonly used to relieve pain and inflammation. However, these drugs can harm the kidneys by blocking the enzyme cyclooxygenase COX, which helps protect the kidneys and regulate sodium and water excretion. Blocking COX can reduce blood flow to the kidneys, leading to fluid retention, high blood pressure, and acute kidney injury Aki. Prolonged NSAID use can trigger inflammation in the kidney tubules and lead to chronic kidney disease CKD. Studies have shown that NSAID use increases the risk of Aki, particularly within the first 30 days of use, highlighting the need for caution with these medications. Diuretics. Diuretics help manage fluid retention in conditions like heart and kidney failure. Common diuretics include hydrochlorothiazide, furosemide, and spironolactone. While diuretics generally benefit kidney health by lowering blood pressure, excessive use can lead to dehydration, a risk factor for kidney damage. A study found that patients on diuretics had higher rates of kidney disease and its risk factors, such as hypertension and diabetes. Proper hydration and regular monitoring of electrolytes and kidney function are crucial for people taking diuretics. Proton Pump Inhibitors PPIs. PPIs, used to treat acid reflux and gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD, reduce stomach acid production. Although PPIs are generally safe, they can cause acute interstitial nephritis AIN, and inflammation of the kidney tubules. Long-term PPI use can lead to decreased kidney function and acute kidney injury, potentially progressing to CKD. Regular checkups to monitor kidney function and magnesium levels are recommended for people taking PPIs. ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors, such as lisinopril and enalapril, are used to lower blood pressure and manage heart and kidney conditions. While they improve blood flow to the kidneys and provide long-term protection, ACE inhibitors can increase the risk of Aki, particularly when combined with NSAIDs and diuretics. They can also cause a decline in the estimated glomerular filtration rate, EGFR, due to reduced pressure on the kidneys. 
Regular monitoring and dosage adjustments may be necessary for patients with heart failure, CKD, or other conditions. Antiviral drugs. Antiviral drugs, used to treat serious or long-lasting viral infections like COVID-19, HIV, and hepatitis, can harm the kidneys through direct toxicity or crystal buildup. Drugs like remdesivir, used for COVID-19, have been linked to decreased kidney function and acute kidney failure. Other antivirals, such as acyclovir and foscarnet, can cause acute tubular necrosis and crystal-induced kidney obstruction. Close medical supervision and proper dosage are essential for minimizing the risks. Lithium. Lithium, used to treat mood disorders like bipolar disorder, can negatively affect the kidneys with long-term use, leading to conditions such as nephrogenic diabetes insipidus and, in rare cases, end-stage renal disease (ESRD). Symptoms of kidney trouble from lithium include excessive urine output, constant thirst, and dehydration. Regular monitoring of kidney function and blood tests for creatinine levels are crucial for patients taking lithium. General recommendations. To protect kidney health, it is essential to monitor kidney function regularly, stay properly hydrated, and be aware of potential drug interactions. For individuals with kidney disease, careful management of medications, dosage adjustments, and a healthy lifestyle are critical. A balanced diet and regular exercise can help minimize medication use and protect kidney health. For more information on kidney health, subscribing to reliable health channels and consulting healthcare providers is advised. Understanding the risks associated with these medications and managing their use responsibly can help maintain kidney health and prevent serious complications.